what does God want you to do? Very simple. You know, last year, I told you, isn't it amazing 2016 is last year? It's gone forever. It's now called last year. Amazing. <laughs> I told you that you would have to speak in tongues like never before. Speaking in tongues is so important. All right? It is so important. But I'm going to tell you something you're going to add to that. You've got to speak in tongues like never before. I've got to tell you this. Too important. He says, this is the refreshing. Where which he may cause the weary to rest. Hallelujah. And Peter called it times of refreshing. But it's more than the refreshing. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And we'll read the Amplified Translation. Verse 4. He who speaks in a strange tongue, that's the tongues when we speak in tongues, edifies and improves himself. You want to improve yourself? Speak in tongues. When you speak in tongues, you become sensitive to the things of the Spirit. You know, there's some people who say, well, I don't know when God is talking to me. Speak in tongues. Your spirit becomes sensitive, sensitive to God, sensitive to spiritual realities, sensitive to the spiritual realm. I speak in tongues often, I speak in tongues a lot. Your spirit becomes sensitive to spiritual realities. He says, he who speaks in a strange tongue edifies and improves himself. So this year, you're going to what? Speak in tongues more than ever. Edify your spirits. Improve yourself. Turn to the book of Jude, verse 20. Still amplified version. I want you to notice this. You'd love it. He says, but you, beloved, build yourselves up, founded on your most holy faith. Make progress. Rise like an edifice, higher and higher, praying in the Holy Spirit. Build yourselves up, founded on your most holy faith. What do you mean by most holy faith? Your most holy faith means your most sanctified faith. What does that mean? In our lives, at different times, we have done certain things as an act of faith. Sometimes your faith was not very high, okay? You did some things and sometimes your faith was really high and it did some extraordinary things. Now, your highest faith that you ever expressed, God is saying, hey, Build on that. That's your most sanctified faith. That means the faith that had no doubts around it. It had nothing like fear coming close to it. It was your highest, purest faith. That was your best expression of your faith. He says, build on that. Don't build on the lower one. Build on the higher one. Build on your most holy faith. How do you do it? Praying in the Holy Ghost. Through praying in the Spirit, you become, not only, not only do you have sensitivity of the Spirit, what happens is your faith is purified. Your faith is purified. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So, praying in tongues is important. I mean, why was Paul so successful? Why was he so successful? Simple. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Go to verse 18. This is what Paul said. Look at, read that for me. What does it say? It says, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. I mean, he had the boldness to tell that church 
I speak with tongues more than all of you. It just tells us how much this man spoke in tongues. No wonder he was so successful. If you will speak in tongues, nothing will stop you. You'll be building your spirit strong if you will speak in tongues. Are you hearing me? So don't play uh, light on speaking in tongues. Some Christians say it's not important. Well, they don't want to have a successful life. They say, oh no, it's not so important to you if you, you can speak in tongues sometimes. Well, if it is sometimes, look at, did you, did you read what we just saw? He says, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you. Glory to God. No wonder he was so successful. You want to be very successful? 2017 is yours. It's your year of flourishing. Flourish with tongues. Flourish with tongues. Speak with tongues. He says, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays. You see that? So it's not your head. It's your spirit that's praying. When you speak with tongues. Now, there's more.